Good morning. All right, y'all. I'm tired. My dog threw up today again. I don't even know why she keeps throwing up, but we have to figure this out. So I'm about to take her outside. I need to get dressed, get this day going, honey. Um, drink my tea, and I'll check back in with you guys. So leaving Target, found nothing that I needed other than avocados. Um, but I did pick up one thing for the Valentine's Day basket that I'm making, so I'm happy about that. Um, so I'm gonna head home to take the dog out and then I'm gonna go to get my nails done since tomorrow I'm gonna touch up this tattoo and I won't be able to get my nails done because um, I can't soak them. So then after the nail shop, then I'm gonna get something to eat because I'm starving. All right, let's go drop this stuff off and take Miku outside. The finished product, ooh. Love it. Uh, So y'all just got my nails done. Back in the game, especially since tomorrow I'm getting my tattoo touched up. So I have so much to do. So on my way to get something to eat. And then hopefully if the sun doesn't go down by the time I'm done eating, I need to give Niku a bath. Niku is my dog, y'all. Um, and if not, then I'll do it first thing tomorrow morning before I even go to this tattoo appointment. So yeah, and I even need to kind of wash my hair. I have a hair appointment on Friday, but either I'm gonna have to go in like this or I'm gonna have to wash it and take, I mean, put it in twists, but I think I'm gonna leave it like this because it's gonna get washed on Friday by the hairstylist. So what's the point of rewashing it? It's dumb. As long as it's not like, you know, pinned up or twisted or anything like that, then we Gucci. So I'm gonna see y'all later. She's super excited. Anywhere. Right, Niku? Right, Niku? Yeah, yeah, right. Let's put this behind it. Okay, honey. Now, let's get your toothbrush out of the way. And, okay. Start with your paws, little girl. Let me see. So annoyed. Looks like we're gonna have to take this in the house, guys, because they turned off the water. I don't know why. Ugh, I'm annoyed. Okay, y'all, so we move into the bathroom so that I can wash her since 
the water outside was turned off, which is annoying. So I'm going to sit in here and wash her so that she can get all clean. Um, this is actually her first time being bathed in front of my bathtub. I don't really care for it, but it's okay because y'all know I got that Clorox to clean up after. So we've got to get to it. Thank you. Y'all, so her little self is all clean now. <laughs> okay, little girl. You all clean now? You all clean now? Yes. Yes, mama. Mama, yes. Y'all, she all clean now. Y'all, she is clean and vibrant and lively right now. Right, Niku? Right, Niku? Right, honey? I gotta get her a new tag because she does crazy stuff like this. And you can't even see my info anymore. At least she's microchipped, but it's a hot mess. Can't even see your name anymore. Why you do that, Niku? Huh? Why you do that? Why you do it to your tag? Why? Huh? Why? Why you do that? And she just looks at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> Girl girlfriend okay little girl <laughs> y'all at night this is what she wants to do she wants to bug me instead of being in her bed over here she has like three beds in this house what dog do you know has three beds look at her she's like me me hello me <laughs> and look me too Okay, mama, we're done. Girl, can I like edit some videos and be productive tonight? Ma'am, huh? You gonna let me be productive? Ma'am, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot with this bougie dog. I cannot. <laughs> okay, Niku. All right, honey, we're done. y'all so i just woke up from a nap and that's why my eyes look kind of red but i'm gonna hit the gym i'm gonna try and go earlier today um i need to touch up my hair but it is windy as heck outside and today is freezing cold so um i had to layer up i have on like a shirt a long sleeve hoodie and then this light windbreaker jacket i get hot fast so i don't know if anybody else experienced that but I get hot really, really fast. I don't understand why. Um, I did know that when I saw the doctor and my sister, like she works in medical, so she was telling me how it could be one of my medicines and I only take two. And when I did research, it was my birth control that caused excessive sweating. So I thought that was crazy to know that, but just FYI in case you have the same issue, so, you know, to like check it out. So this is the fit for today. 
have to run in some errands today and I'll be working out later. So y'all, yesterday I was so busy, I could not get my favorite drink. So today, y'all know I had to stop and get it. It might be cold outside, but it's well worth it. So I'll show y'all once I get it. I can't wait. I'm in line. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh my God. So amazing, y'all. This is my drink. Oh my god, so cute. It's called the human being my matcha smoothie. This is a 20 ounce You can get it hot iced or a frappuccino and I love my frappuccino. So here we go so Who's bumpy over here y'all that Dollar Tree sucked a lot of times they have good stuff so That Dollar Tree was like whack. They didn't have a lot of stuff. They were understocked um so I'm gonna head to another dollar to see what they have and go from there. Mm. This is so good, y'all. Even my nails kind of match the matcha. No matcha is not. Uh! Sorry, no. Green is not my favorite color either. It's blue. Okay, what am I gonna go do next? Y'all, so I'm at five and below and I found these bins that I can use on my pantry. So, I don't know if those are long enough, but they have the bigger ones down here. For like five dollars something, yeah, I should go bigger for a dollar more. I saw someone use this and it worked in their car, so I'm gonna get it and try it. It's $3 here at five and below. I only got this because I need this for my laptop. The stylus has no holder on the side. So y'all, I'm back in the house from shopping. I really didn't find what I was looking for, but I did find some other things that I could possibly use. Not for like Valentine's Day, but for like some other organization organization organizing things that i'm doing in the house so like this actually found at dollar tree and i didn't like the color because everything in my freezer is clear but i'm actually gonna take the bins that i currently have in there out so i can reuse them in the bathroom and then i figured that this would fit underneath for like my frozen veggies and then i had to get my favorite tea i drink these in moderation since i'm back on my lovely diet after the holidays. And then I figured I could replace the clear baskets that I have currently in the freezer with these. So one side was like holding my meats and seafood and the other side was like holding little ice cream popsicles and stuff that I have. So I'm gonna show y'all when I redo this in another video. These are my items. Um, what else did I get? Oh, and then when we went into, well, when I went into five and below, I got, you know, baskets. What are these? Like the basket bags. I got one of every color, but for Valentine's Day, I'm going to use clear since the basket is red. But I'm actually thinking about going 
elsewhere to find a bigger basket because I don't really care for this. Like I had tried putting his chocolate football in there and I just, it's really big and it takes off a lot of space. And I know that's not everything I'm getting him for Valentine's Day. So I might have to return that basket. Some fragrant stuff that smells good. It actually should have stayed in my car. Magnets that I need because I want to put my knife holder back up since I have no wall space next to the fridge anymore. So I want to do that. And then I found these bins. I didn't know they had them. So I was like, I could use these on my pantry shelf um, to help further organize everything since I have more little snacks that I need to go in here. So I bought four. So I'm about to go hit the gym. Um, and then after that, I need to take the dog out again. I take her out three times a day, sometimes four if I give, if I give her a ton of water. Um, Y'all forgive my hair, it's windy as heck today. It is horrible outside and it's freezing cold. Um, and then I'll probably just chill for the rest of the night. So I'm about to go hit the gym, y'all. Catch you later. All right, y'all. I'm headed to the gym, finally, after like a month, so. I'm excited. Ignore all that other stuff in the back. It's gonna get cleaned and organized soon. Let's do this. Y'all, I just got back from the gym and I'm sweating like crazy. And it was a good workout. I haven't done it in a while. So today I did cardio for 40 minutes and then I did arms, but I took it easy today since I missed like a month. So just got back in the house and I am exhausted. I'm about to take a bath. So I was about to hop in the bathtub, but it says my package, well, my package is my rug, my outdoor rug. It says it's like a few stops away, so I'm trying to wait for them to deliver it so I don't have to go back outside. That way I can take Miku out with me while I go get the rug, um, and I can kill two birds with one stone. But since I'm waiting on that, I'm about to make some dinner. Y'all, I've been slacking because I really don't eat dinner. Um, yeah, I really don't eat dinner, so I'm trying to keep like my calorie intake um, like low um, by eating healthy, but then I do know that I have to eat meals as well. So like I wake up and I definitely want breakfast, like some form of fashion of breakfast. And then like every once in a while, I'll like want um, brunch or like lunch. So I'll eat something small for like lunch, but then I go to the gym and I come home and I'm like never ever hungry. And I realize when I do that and I wake up in the morning, I've lost weight but it's also unhealthy because you're supposed to have a balanced meal throughout the day, three meals a day, and supposedly two snacks in between, but I'm not like, I'm a snacker, but it really depends. I'm not always a snacker, if that makes sense. So tonight, I think I'm gonna make some salmon and um, maybe some asparagus. Um, I love asparagus and I love salmon, so you'll see me eating that a lot. I'm a seafood head. You know us that originate from DC are seafood lovers anyways, most of the time. So I'm about to pull out some salmon, so it'll quick thaw. Um, wait for my package to get here from Amazon, take Niku out, and then I'm gonna take a bath. Then when I get out, I'm gonna cook my food. Right now, it's like 6.47 p.m., so that should be enough time. I wish it was thought out before 7, though, because I like to eat before 7 and then just drink water for the rest of the night. So we'll see. So days that I go to the gym, I always use, and I soak in the tub, for Dr. Sills Soothe and Sleep with Lavender. Um, it's just like the um, Epsom salt that you use. And it helps with me being sore in the morning. And then other than that, I do pour like, I need to buy some more actually. I got these gifted to me and I already used the other bottle, but I use a bath bomb too, just because I love bath bombs. And here's one of the bath bombs that I got from this A that I was telling you guys about that I just 
throw in the tub. So, we made it back in. It's freezing cold outside. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's cold. I'm gonna put back on my little furry slippers, make some dinner. I'm eating a little bit late tonight. It's like nine. Well, that is really late for me. I don't like to eat this late, y'all. Forgive the hair. All right, I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna show you what to cook. And I'm gonna eat it so I can chill, so I can chill out. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to cook my salmon. And so what I use is magic salmon seasoning. And also, I was told that when someone made it for me in the past, they use blackened seasoning and it was really good. So I typically use both of these and then I do add a little bit of salt and pepper as well. Um, so we got to get started and I also use butter to baste it and I use garlic to put in there with it. Um, okay, so let's get started. Here is my garlic that I already had open from the last time. Y'all, I rarely like ever cook. So now that I'm cooking more, I would say I kind of sort of have a passion for it, but um, while that's heating up, I'm gonna season my salmon. So what blackens it is the black seasoning. This is what it looks like. All right, let's get my asparagus. And I'll show you guys what the final product looks like. So this is my final product. Yum. Salmon and asparagus. I'm gonna show you guys a closer peep. Blackened salmon and asparagus. This is all I need for 9 p.m. at night. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go eat y'all. Good night. Y'all, today it is cold as hell outside. Cold as hell outside. But I guess hell is hot, so it's not really hell, huh? It's cold as sh outside. Well, no. It is cold as all get out. I don't think that's your sound. It's cold, it's, it's cold, 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 cold. But bro, it's like 28 degrees outside right now and it's 10.37 a.m. and I have to take the dog out earlier this morning. This is ridiculous. But 
I have some errands to run. I do want to finish up Valentine's Day shopping because y'all know I like to get done early um, with everything that I do because I like the best of the best. Um, and just because I want to be prepared and have um, everything pulled together the way that I like it. Like I discovered that a basket that I had previously bought, I don't like it. So I'm going to take it back. Um, and then I'm gonna get something else. So I might have to go to Michael's or like, I don't know, Hobby Lobby or see if Walmart or Target might have a basket. Usually they're cheaper because Michael's always has like a sale, especially prior, you know, from the holidays. So I might check out Michael's again. This is the fit for the day because it's freezing outside, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna add my black workout hoodie <clears throat> my black workout hoodie over there and i'm also gonna add my light windbreaker blah, blah. i can't even speak my light windbreaker jacket on top so we'll see how that looks but i'm gonna wear it regardless because it's black black goes with anything especially these plants, pants and shoes and it's cold it's cold it's cold y'all really need you Aww. Okay, honey. My mama's about to go. Yeah, she is spoiled, spoiled. She is spoiled. Walmart has a ton of stuff too for Valentine's Day. I'm trying to find something unique and just different, not your typical gift. Okay. I don't know what the ribbon to get. I think I'm gonna get I don't know, this one's cute. I love the Be Mine Valentine. And this one. Alright, I think I'm gonna get this one. Oh, I don't like the hugs and kisses. Dang it. I'm gonna get this one. And they have this bag that spins. Y'all, this is chocolate scented and it really smells like chocolate. Like, oh my god, and it's so cute. And it says chocolate teddy. I'm gonna get it. See, I'm loving my chocolate teddy bear. Y'all, how cute is this ribbon? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna buy it so bad. It's so cute. We have other ones too. So cute. Y'all, today has been one hell of a day already and it's only 1.55. Y'all know I left the house early, but I finally got some Jimmy John so I can eat. I'm just ready to get home by now. I got a lot of stuff for the pantry and for organization tips. So, we shall see how everything turns out eventually. I know it's going to be beautiful because y'all know I like to organize. I love a good organization. Y'all, excuse the side tables. I'm still waiting for my <clears throat> nightstands to arrive. But look at this BS. I done made up my bed, come home. And look what Niku did. Like, what is her problem? Do y'all's dog do this? Because now she's about to be locked up. She thinks she grown. And thinks she can just have free range and do whatever she wants to do. This is unacceptable. Ugh. So anyways, I'm going to have to now. Anyways, I'm going to have to now lock up Niku when I leave the house. Because I don't trust her. You know what you did. You know exactly what you did. exactly what you did that dog bad very bad anyways got my jimmy john got my lettuce wrap i got the veto because it comes with olive oil and oregano on it 
um, and it's my favorite. Sometimes I get the Slim 5 with the bread, but since I'm trying to do this lifestyle change and actually kick calories, I got the lettuce wrap with some barbecue chips. Their barbecue chips are fire. You don't know what you're missing. Anyways, I had to undress. I got hot, so I'm in my sports bra on my pants, so that's why I look like this. Anyways, all right, I'm about to eat this, y'all. Hit you later. Um, about to hit the gym. Today's Friday. It's about five o'clock. And I guess I'm gonna put these dishes in the dishwasher because I'm tired. It's been one half of the day. I don't feel like they'll come back because I need to eat dinner and then take Nikki outside and soak in the tub because I'm sore from yesterday's workout. But today is leg day, so I'm gonna be sore as hell tomorrow and I'll watch. It's gonna be bad. I'm gonna have to use my massage gun. I'm not looking forward to that. So, y'all pray for me. Pray for me. I was supposed to get my hair done today, but that was canceled. Um, had to rebook that. And then I didn't hear anything back from her. Um, and same thing with my tattoo. Um, he never responded to confirm for me to finish. So I gotta show y'all what I bought today. Um, and then finish this Valentine's Day basket that I got. Well, that I need to make. I bought everything for it. Well, I don't think I'm finished yet. I think I'm gonna add more stuff. Y'all, I'm extra as hell. Like I overdo everything and it's just me. So it's like, whoever's with me, just please bear with me because I'm extra and I'm not taming it and I'm not calming it down. So yes, you'll see my extraness, but yes, I'm making a basket. So I'm gonna do a separate video for that. And then y'all, I found this spray bottle at Walmart. And I've been looking for clear spray bottles for like uh, cleaning products and stuff like that to go in it. And they're so expensive when you wanna buy them online. For two, it's like $38. And I was like, for glass clear window boxes, like, sorry, I said glass clear window boxes, glass clear spray bottles. And I ran across this and I wanted to see if this was removable and it is. So y'all, I'm gonna remove this, but they only had one. So I need to go find like two more at two different Walmarts. And I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow, if not maybe Sunday, because tomorrow um, it's supposed to rain all day. I don't do rain and cold. That is not for me. It is like 28 degrees outside. I do not have the patience for rain and cold. No ma'am, no ma'am. All right, I'm done rambling, bye. Looks like I have the gym by myself for now. Wee! <laughs> My favorites. gym and I'm exhausted and as you can see the dog has not ran up to me because she's now locked up since she did what she did on my bed this morning I'll show y'all y'all little spring right Niku mm -hmm. mm -hmm. y'all little Bad bomb is still going. Relaxing. Now y'all, I'm soaking after that leg day workout today. Like, oh my God. And yes, the bath bomb is green and yellow. So the water is like a yellowish, greenish, grayish color. It's really weird. Y'all, I was starving. Starving. The gym kicked my butt today. Today was leg day and I already feel it. So I know tomorrow I'm not going to be able to know how to walk.
Good morning. So, just woke up. About to get dressed. Take the dog out. I was invited to a grand opening for, I believe it's called Le Reve. Le Reve. Le Reve. It's French, so hopefully I'm not butchering it. But it is in Dallas. It's brand new. Today is the grand opening, and I'm so excited because it's a dessert bar. So... Although my lifestyle changed, I'm gonna limit what I get, but I'm gonna try a little bit of everything. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Let me get dressed first. Y'all, this is the gym look for the day. So I'm running errands and I'm going to put on a jacket because it's cold outside. I need it more, 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 more. I love that song, y'all. So right now I'm sitting in the garage waiting for my car to warm up. Um, this is why I hate the winter and the cold. Do you guys let your cars warm up? I was told you don't have to, then I was told you do, so I would do it anyways to be safe. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go to Home Goods really quick and then the opening to Le Revie. I can never get it right. Hopefully they'll tell me so I know how to say it. <laughs> um, and then after that, I do need to make an errand to Sam's Club and Walmart, which is in the same vicinity. Um, and then I also need to go to Trader Joe's to pick up something um, and then get my pedicure for the day because my feet, I haven't been to get a pedicure in like months. I've been getting my nails done versus my feet and just been doing like a polish change because they're always so busy. So today I'm just gonna solely focus on the pedicure phase um and wait however long i need to um and then i need to hit the gym and then i'll probably do some organizing around the house if i'm not too wiped out if not tomorrow's gonna be my rest day so i don't think i'm gonna go to the gym because i'm really sore and i just want to you know take precautions since i'm just not getting back into it so i'll keep you guys posted wow, this is so good the first time i tried it was on thanksgiving for my godmother y'all that home goods was dope i don't know why i don't come to this one more often but i'm gonna start um you know usually they're better in the area that they're in um but the one that i typically go to is always like sold out of stuff and it's very like limited and i go early in the morning so i don't understand it so i'm gonna go to this one that i just came from um in dallas and continuously go there because they're always overly stocked and overly like just stuff is like organized but then some stuff is you know not organized but it's well worth it so i'm gonna just go there so this is the grand opening for Le Rivea. can't wait to get inside and see what they have oh my gosh super excited So y'all, it got super packed in there, but I'm super excited because I got a couple of their items and the ice cream, half pistachio and half red velvet. And I got a black forest cake with red velvet and a macaroon. So I'll share with you guys. Okay y'all, so there was so many people in there. I didn't want to stay and take off my mask and eat, especially since there's numerous variants going around. So I decided to come to my car and eat if my phone will sit up straight and properly, which I think it's not going to keep slipping. No, 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 no. Jesus Christ, y'all. All right. This is better. Although you can still have, oh, it's melting. Okay, let me hurry up and eat it. Y'all, it is so packed in there. And I read that the owner um, I guess overhearing a little bit of the conversation, um, the owner, he's 22 years old and he, I guess he went into partner with one of his friends. Um, and so I'm just really impressed by 
how young he is um, and opening such a wonderful shop. So, yo, I'm trying to eat this before it melts. It's cold outside and it's melting. Like, what the heck? But it's gelato ice cream. Um, I'm definitely running this off. <laughs> gelato ice cream and I got pistachio because I love pistachio and red velvet mm. so good so good I have more errands to run <laughs> but this is perfect for a Saturday and it's gloomy outside y'all I cannot stuff to do you know it's amazing you know what? this ice cream sorry not ice cream this gelato is really really good very flavorful pistachio is my favorite and the red velvet I'm actually very impressed with it so good so how many of y'all Shop inside of Home Goods, which is a sister store to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross. I guess you can consider Ross as well. Um, you go in there, you're looking for something, they don't have it, but you end up with like a million and one other things. When I was checking out, they always say, Did you find what you're looking for? No, but I found other stuff. Like I'm about to go broke in here. At this point, between Amazon and Home Goods, I should have stock in them. I should be co-partner. Like I should be owner. I should be owning the businesses. This is ridiculous how much I finance and fund them. It's so crazy, y'all. Uh -huh. Anyways, it's a moody day, but this made made it all better. Okay. I gotta drive. Catch y'all later. Y'all, it's a cold day. I'm still out running errands. I have like two more stops to make and then I'm gonna go get a pedicure. And so y'all know I had to get my Starbucks because I'm nowhere near my favorite place, the human being. Um, so I stopped at Starbucks. Um, I'm gonna get a breakfast sandwich. I haven't eaten breakfast since I went to the grand opening. Um, it was just basically dessert at 11 a.m. in the morning, but <laughs> I'm gonna run that off. So I'm gonna get a sandwich here and then you'll see my drink order that I'm gonna get from Starbucks because here I have to literally modify everything to have it taste great for my liking. Um, but yeah, as much as I shop at Starbucks, I should literally have stock in this place too and own half of it. It's ridiculous, but you'll see. I want like a sausage breakfast sandwich and I don't see one listed. Do you guys have a breakfast sandwich with sausage? Yes. Okay, um, yeah, that's what I want. And then can I also get a venti green tea latte hot? Um, can I get six scoops of matcha in that? How many scoops? Six. Yes, what else? Um, and can you make that with almond milk? I mean, sorry, oat milk. We're out of oat milk, we do have almond milk. Okay, um, let's just do non-fat milk then. Okay, and what else? That's all. Okay, nine, thank you. Thank you. Y'all, that is so annoying that they're out of oat milk. Ugh. I don't want no almond milk. Their almond milk is not good. It is thick as heck. Um, the only almond milk that I really love and like is the one that Target sells. I think it's called Oak Leaf Farm, something like that. That is the only almond milk that I'll drink and use with my cereal. And that's what I have in the house. And it lasts longer too, like last month. It's crazy. 
Um, so yeah, but I am lactose intolerant and I don't care, but I do try and limit where I can. So I'll typically get oat milk here at Starbucks whenever, you know, they have it because it doesn't make my drink taste too much different. The almond milk here though, no, horrible trash. No, absolutely not. I can't do it. So I just want my food at this point. They need to step it up. So basically they're taking forever because this lady is slow. But anyways, I got my drink, y'all. Can you see it? Yeah. <sighs> got my drinky drink. Okay, so it's time to go. Um, run these last two errands. So do you have my favorite? You don't have to get my matcha. Put some salt in the have seed oil and they have the strong replenish but they also have all these other ones that could help you if you're sore after the gym that I love and a lot of them are new I'm not obsessed so this one has the hangers that I have when usually home goods have it but the home goods I've been going to don't have it and I'm even seeing a box for them and they're only $11 for a set of 30. So I think I'm gonna get, it's like attached some kind of way. I'm gonna get these, because they're only $11. And I've been needing more, actually the pant ones, and I can't find the pant ones anywhere. Y'all, I'm stuck. I don't know if I should get the bamboo one because it opens for the cans, and I don't mind the color of it or the white one which is a dollar more but I hate that it's white I hate that I may have to spray paint it black because it won't match my wire rack that's black huh I think I'm gonna go with the bamboo at Sam's Club and it's like nobody has my age white cheddars in the boxes anymore I don't know why oh I see them down there yay I'm gonna get some of those and get some veggie straws or veggie puffs. Puffs. Puffs or straws. So, just took the groceries in the house. I didn't put up everything in stock. That's gonna be a separate video, but I did put up, obviously, like the perishable items. Um, and I took Miku out of the house. Now I'm on my way to get my pedicure because it's early enough. And y'all, it is so sad, but I literally have to work around because I live in a a huge apartment complex that has a parking garage and unfortunately I wish everyone that lived on a specific floor would have that floor's you know parking spot so sometimes I have to park on the fifth floor but I live on the first floor it's ridiculous all the guests have to park on the fifth floor and so um, I like to get home early unless I'm going out or you know I just have to get out late but if I can avoid it then I'm gonna try and avoid it so one coming to the nail salon now so i can finally get that pedicure y'all so your girl can stop looking like a fucking monster <laughs> um and then hopefully i can get home sooner rather than later because the earlier you get home the more chances you're gonna get a bottom floor parking spot which is what i want so yeah all right catch y'all later Moscato and chewing gum. Mm. Actually, not bad. So I'm getting my gushers. <laughs> I have 
get her from Sam's. And y'all remember that package? I thought it came, that chair came with one, but it actually came with two. And here's the other one. I'm so excited. Thank God it's light. I can carry it all. All right, let me put this down. All right, y'all, I just left the gym. Today I only did cardio because I am still so sore from the last two days and I didn't want to overdo it. So my legs hurt so bad. Yeah, I bought my mom this leg compression thing that like massages her legs and her calf muscles for Christmas. I wish I purchased one for myself. So I'm going to off of Amazon because my legs are killing me, like killing me. So I'm about to soak in some Epsom salt and some hot water. I just, I cannot. This is why I hate stopping going to the gym. Cause when I stop, it's like, I have to get back into the mindset of going. And then when I go, it's like, no one can tell me to stop. So whenever I go on like long amounts of vacations, if I don't work out on vacation and I come back, it's a struggle to start back again. So once I'm in the mindset, I can keep going. But once I stop, I'm literally forcing myself to the gym. So y'all, I'm about to make a taco salad and it's gonna be plant-based. Um, I am not using actual meat for this just because it's healthier. So I'll show you guys how I make it and how it comes out. So I went ahead and I seasoned it. You can't tell because I just mixed it up. But the instructions are not to add any type of oil or liquid to it to cover it. So it'll steam out from being frozen and then it'll turn more into like a meat texture. Um, so I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. And while that's sitting, I went ahead and I got my shredded lettuce. Um, I am gonna do fine cut mild cheddar, guys. I am not vegan. I am, I am lactose, but I love dairy, so I try to limit it when I can. But I will not do like a vegan cheese. I absolutely cannot do it. I do not like the way it tastes. So I'm using mild cheddar, and then I have my taco sauce over here. So I'm going as healthy as possible, um, and this will be my dinner for the night before I hit the gym. So I'll show you guys the finished product. Voila, this is my meatless taco salad for the night. Looks so good. I cannot wait to taste it. And by the way, in case you guys have never tried it, I actually like this plant-based meat. Um, it really, it kind of gives you the meat fill, if you will, and it tastes more like meat versus all the other meats I've had. Um, so I would recommend trying it, um, to see how you like it. This is my ultimate favorite one, so I'll buy a ton of this, but I also limit it to moderation because it is basically processed.